This is the back wheel. There. Uh, I've trued it up as much as I possibly can. It's near enough, near enough perfect. Um, I've got to be careful because this is the bloody disc that I trapped my finger in when I nearly, well, my thumb. I nearly took my bloody thumb off. What happened was, um, I was spinning it and I got my thumb. I, don't, I think it was in there actually. Well, it wasn't on this bike. I got my thumb in there and this is absolutely razor sharp. And it took the end of my thumb off. It's alright now. <laughs> so, this is the wheel. I've trued it up. Um, it's not 100% perfect, but it wasn't the first time I did it or any time I've done it. The ferro fluid, strangely, this seems freer than it was before. It doesn't make... It doesn't make as much noise. I don't know, it just sounds different. When you're lacing these wheels up, especially the back wheel, uh, because these are 10 gauge spokes, grease um, grease the nipple, make sure you've got greased nipples. <laughs> oh God, I'm so juvenile. Yeah, make sure you use, this is a graphite, I think it's graphite grease, I don't know. It was just grease that I had. Um, grease the, the thread and also grease around the, uh, you can't, I can't make this sound bloody non-suggestive. Grease everywhere, that'll do. Um, because otherwise it binds and you find that. You, you don't actually get the same torque on some of them, so make sure you've got, oh, you know, just a bit of grease. A bit of dabble, a little dabble there, there, fuck. Uh, the other thing as well, which I didn't point out, the thicker the spoke, the less it actually pulls in line. So you've got to make sure that your, your spokes are in line. So this one here is, no, it's the outer ones that you need to be concerned about. The inner ones are fine because they're pulling straight. But the outer ones, when you actually put them in, because they've got to go around more of an angle, uh, they actually pull outwards. So, like this one here, what I had to do was, um, you have to push really bloody hard on it to straighten the thing up. What you want to do is, when it gets to, when it's put into the hole, uh, it needs to near enough sit in the middle. You don't want it pulling over one side, obviously, because it won't pull true then. So make sure that all the all the spokes are actually sitting. Um, they're not actually bowed outwards like these were. Forgot to mention that. So what I what I do is it's just the same with the front wheel, the same as the back wheel, same as everything. There's my single. A single gear um, freewheel don't need any more that gives me more room as you can see I've got some leeway to play with there and I've also got some leeway to play with here so I'm going to put some smaller um, washers here or maybe I've actually got some others Which you don't... These are the washers that I've got, which I've got to cut out for the motor, which are going to go on there. These come from um, faster bikes, I think. Uh, it's always handy to have a few of them to get that motor to stop it from actually binding on anything. So I can put some of those washers everywhere just to stop it from binding anywhere. And then that's going to go around there like that. Jobs are good. So, what else have I done? That's it actually. <laughs> it's taken a day to get that right. The other thing I need to tell you about is the mounting of the batteries. Now, originally I was going to put the batteries over the crossbar there. But I figured out I can't do it. I can do it, but I can't make them removable. So, I don't think I'm going to make them removable. I think I'm going to have them fixed. And I don't know what the layout's going to be yet. The reason being, it's going to take too much work, and I don't know if I can do it. That's number one. And number two, I think it might look silly. I don't know. Anyway, I've got some boxes coming. 
some aluminium boxes uh, or aluminium if you live in America um, and I think well they're exactly the right size they, they'll give the battery about 10mm play front and back 10mm top and bottom and also I've got enough room to get the other BMS in there the one with the heat sinks on it so I don't know like I say I don't know how I'm going to mount it I don't know where I'm going to mount it because obviously the, the, the goals have been moved now oh dear it's all sent to try us <laughs> this is my bike <laughs> that ain't gonna work that is not going to work that is the size of the box that I need to put the batteries in uh, I think it's about 10 mil clearance on the top and then 5 mil clearance and 5 mil clearance and then enough for about uh, 5 mil at the bottom I can't pedal it <laughs> I admit when I've cocked up I've cocked up <laughs> so this is one of my batteries as you know there I've got to strip it down and start again yeah I'm not happy about it but hang on I did this which is a drawing of the it's a, a thing of the triangle part there's the um, the crossbar and there's the down tube so I figured out that I can get one two three four five there six uh, six there seven there eight or nine there whatever and then I can double layer them so I can put um, I forgot any hang on found them what I can do is I can put two there or we'll say three there and then I can put one layer there like that which will make it um, where's my tape measure <sighs> which will make it 45mm high so that's 45mm either side of the crossbar now the original one because they stick up right that makes that uh, 70 mil plus the case and everything else which makes it nearly 90 mil so I'm halving the distance outside of the crossbar so the idea of it is if I get a piece of aluminium plate the same size as that and then I can stick the cells to it and then I've got to do some mammoth engineering and electrical wiring sort of thing to get the parallel series sort of connections in line and, oh god it's not going to be easy but that's the idea that's the layout and then they'll come to about here yeah that's in theory that's, that's if I've drawn this right if I haven't I ain't going to be very happy obviously these are going to come a bit further back because I've got a uh, actually no I left a gap there did I yeah I did so that's 75 mil so I've allowed thank god for that Tony <laughs> I've allowed I have put 75 mil 75 mil just to leave me some room for doing a series connections and parallel connections and stuff to link wires over to spread the load so that's the theory I've got to strip this down which I'm not looking forward to I've got two of these obviously so I've got to strip two of them down and I can't remember exactly how I did it um, I think there's a load of captain tape on here which has all got to come off obviously everything's got to come off <sighs> anyway here we go
so but five minutes oh what a nightmare i warn you now if you're gonna do it you've got to be prepared to cut your bloody self yeah anyway so that's done well that side's done anyway uh it looks like i've did i did the perfect welds i'm amazed actually it's pulled the nickel pieces off but it hasn't actually gone straight through it hasn't pulled any of the um the battery so i was a bit worried about that but that's done so this side should be i reckon relatively easy um purely because they should now be in packs of ser uh, parallel series can't remember now yeah they are so they'll they'll pull off in sections now so all i need to do is cut that now this should be a lot easier to do um than the other side because the positive is a lot easier a lot better <coughs> and it will actually rip it off it knackers the knackers the nickel she can't use it again <coughs> These are, I'm not going to be able to do those. I'm going to have to get the pliers on those. <sighs> Last bit. was easy not uh, I've got sore hands I know that I've got to go through these and um, tidy the bottoms up uh, where's a bad one where's a bad one if you can see because it's left some of the uh, the nickel on there I don't actually think these are the ones with nickel on I think these are the ones with the the cheap tin what's it things on so all I do on this, or all I'm going to do, is simply cut those pieces off, or try to cut them off. I haven't got my glasses on, I can't see a bloody thing. <laughs> oh god, I'm blind as a bat. So that's all I'll do with those, and, and suffer the, the, there's tiny bumps on there, but they'll be okay. I'm going to do that. And then I've finished. Here's all my batteries, ready for the rebuild. I don't know what to do next, to be honest. I'm a bit uh, a bit stuck. I need to rebuild the pack, but I haven't got any aluminium to actually build it with. So, I don't know what to do, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I've got, hang on. Maybe if that's big enough, if I flatten that out. No, I'm going to get a piece of aluminium to fit. They can go in there like that for the time being. Um, I'm a bit stuck on what to do next actually because I haven't got anything. I need to get the battery built before I can build anything else.